Hi friends, welcome to TurboMath channel. In this video, we are going to solve three questions about PEMDAS rule. The first question is 14 divided by 3 over 2, then times open parentheses 6 minus 3 times 4 close parentheses. What is the answer of this question? Can you solve it? In this question, we have division, multiplication, parentheses, and subtraction. To solve this question, we need to follow the order of operations which is PEMDAS. PEMDAS shows the priority of the mathematical operations. And if you don't pay attention to this rule, you get the wrong answer. In this rule, P stands for parentheses, E stands for exponent, M stands for multiplication, D stands for division, A stands for addition, and S stands for subtraction. Multiplication and division have the same level of priority. Also, addition and subtraction have the same level of priority. And when we have both in an expression, we start from the left and simplify the question. According to the PEMDAS rule, in this question, first we simplify the parentheses. Inside these parentheses, we have subtraction and multiplication. First, we do this multiplication because the multiplication has higher priority than subtraction. Negative 3 times 4 equals negative 12. Now we have 6 minus 12 inside these parentheses. And 6 minus 12 equals negative 6. Okay guys, now the question is 14 divided by 3 over 2, then times negative 6. In this step, we have division and multiplication. Because multiplication and division have the same level of priority, we start from the left and simplify the question. 14 divided by 3 over 2. To solve this part, we need to follow the KCF rule. In this rule, K stands for keep, C stands for change, and F stands for flip. We keep the first number as it is, after that we change the sign, and after that we flip the second fraction. Now we have a new expression, 14 times 2 over 3, then times negative 6. Okay guys, the question is 14 times 2 over 3 times negative 6. Negative 6 divided by 3 equals negative 2, and 3 divided by 3 equals 1. Now we have 14 times 2, then times negative 2. 14 times 2 equals 28. Now we have 28 times negative 2. 28 times negative 2 equals negative 56. And the final answer of this question equals negative 56. Okay guys, if you're ready, let's solve another question about PEMDAS rule. 4 minus 1 over 2 then times open parentheses 7 minus 1 over 5 close parentheses divided by 2 to the power of 2. What is the answer of this question? In this question, we have subtraction, multiplication, parentheses, division, and exponent. Again, to solve this question, we need to follow the PEMDAS rule. PEMDAS shows the priority of the mathematical operations. In this rule, P stands for parentheses, E stands for exponent, M stands for multiplication, D stands for division, A stands for addition, and S stands for subtraction. According to the PEMDAS rule, in this question, first we simplify these parentheses. We have 7 minus 1 over 5. Since the denominator of this fraction is 5, we can write 7 as 35 over 5. Now we have 35 over 5 minus 1 over 5. 35 over 5 minus 1 over 5 equals 34 over 5. Okay guys, now the question is 4 minus 1 over 2, then times 34 over 5, divided by 2 to the power of 2. Okay guys, now we have subtraction, multiplication, division, and exponent. First, we simplify this exponent. 2 to the power of 2 equals 4. Now we have 4 minus 1 over 2 times 34 over 5 divided by 4. Now we have subtraction, multiplication, and division. First, we simplify this multiplication. 1 over 2 times 34 over 5. 1 over 2 times 34 over 5 equals 34 over 10. Now we have 4 minus 34 over 10, then divided by 4. Okay guys, now we have subtraction and division. First, we do this division. Because division has higher priority than subtraction. Negative 34 over 10 divided by 4. To solve this part, we need to follow the KCF rule. In this rule, K stands for keep, C stands for change, and F stands for flip. We keep the first fraction as it is, after that, we change the division sign to the multiplication sign, and after that, we flip the second number. 
Now we have 4 minus 34 over 10, then times 1 over 4. Okay, guys. In this step, we have subtraction and multiplication. First, we simplify this multiplication. Because the multiplication has higher priority than subtraction. 34 over 10 times 1 over 4 equals 34 over 40. Now we have 4 minus 34 over 40. Okay, guys. The question is 4 minus 34 over 40. Since the denominator of this fraction is 40, we can write 4 as 160 over 40. Now the question is 160 over 40 minus 34 over 40. 160 over 40 minus 34 over 40 equals 126 over 40. The final answer of this question equals 126 over 40. Because the numerator and the denominator of this fraction are divisible by 2, we divided both by 2. 126 divided by 2 equals 63. And 40 divided by 2 equals 20. The final answer of this question equals 63 over 20. Okay guys, if you're ready, let's solve another question. 41 minus 41 times 3, then over 7 minus 6 times 8. What is the answer of this question? In this question, we have subtraction, multiplication, and division. Again, to solve this question, we need to follow the order of operations which is PEMDAS. And if you don't pay attention to this rule, you get the wrong answer. Let's simplify and solve this question step by step together. 41 minus 41 times 3 then divided by 7 minus 6 times 8. Okay guys, according to the PEMDAS rule, first we simplify the parentheses. Inside the first parentheses we have subtraction and multiplication. First we do this multiplication because the multiplication has higher priority than subtraction. Negative 41 times 3 equals negative 123 now we have 41 minus 123 41 minus 123 equals negative 82 now we have negative 82 divided by open parentheses 7 minus 6 times 8 close parentheses okay guys the question is negative 82 divided by 7 minus 6 times 8 Again, we simplify this parentheses. Inside this parentheses, we have subtraction and multiplication. First, we do this multiplication because the multiplication has a higher priority than subtraction. Negative 6 times 8 equals negative 48. Now we have 7 minus 48 inside this parentheses. 7 minus 48 equals negative 41. The final answer of this parentheses equals negative 41. Now the question is negative 82 divided by negative 41. Okay guys, negative 82 divided by negative 41 equals 2. And the final answer of this question equals 2. Guys, if you want to get the right answer of this question, you must follow the PEMDAS rule. To see more mass videos, subscribe to the channel. Goodbye.